My wife and I started James Engel Custom Homes about eight years ago. We were going to build our own house with another builder. And uh, we went out and kind of looked around the city, looked at all sorts of different model homes, looked at different types of houses, talked to different builders, and we really couldn't find a builder that we were very comfortable with. So my wife just kind of jokingly said, why don't you try to build a house yourself? So I figured, you know what, at least I'll get, get myself educated, do some research and see if it's even possible that I can do that. Uh, so I went back to school and uh, started working on some engineering classes and some construction management classes. Got enough background that I kind of felt comfortable, so I had a floor plan drawn and I uh, got bids on it and started construction. Uh, I got the house built and uh, about two months before it was completed, I had three or four offers on the house. You know, people were just raving about the details. You know, it looks like quality construction, all the details were there that need to be there. So I had a guy that made an offer on the house. We ended up selling that house and started another project for ourselves. Ended up selling that one, and I guess from there it just kind of became destiny that uh, I guess I'm in the construction business. People like my home, so I'll keep doing what I'm doing. James Engel Custom Homes recently has been concentrating on the southern Johnson County market and the southern Jackson County market. We've got several different neighborhoods in Olathe, Overland Park, and Lee Summit. We've got a model in Brighton's Landing subdivision. We're getting ready to open up a new neighborhood in 2007 called Heritage Manor. We're getting ready to also open a new subdivision uh, off of Longview Road. Most of the houses that we build are in the 250 to maybe $500,000 price range. I get a lot of my inspirations from looking at homes that are million dollar plus homes and uh, really spending the time to figure out how you can take the details out of a million dollar house and get it down to a more affordable $300,000 range. And when you can get those two to meet, you can really have a big wow effect on people when they come into the homes. One of the nice things that we have done for our customers during the process of building a home is we'll have a minimum of five on-site building build job meetings with the individual customer. First meeting that we have is actually called a survey meeting or a plot plan meeting. We're going to meet with the customer on-site and explain to them the slope of their driveway and how we're going to maintain drainage, uh, which is very important. Uh, the next meeting, the second meeting that we have, is right after the framers have been completed. So the house has been framed, we have a roof on the house. And we're going to walk the house with the customers, spray out on the floors where the cabinets are going to go. We're going to give the customer an opportunity to show us if they need to add can lights, maybe add receptacles, where they'd like to put their phones and cables. Um, the next meeting that we'll have is right after sheetrock, which gives the customer the opportunity to look at all the trim that we're going to put in the house, see if they want to make any changes to the trim. It also gives the customer the opportunity to actually design their own closets. Um, the next meeting that we have is probably the most important meeting that we have with the customer and it's considered to be our quality assurance checklist meeting. And what we have is we have a 400 item checklist that we go through with the customer, typically a month or two before closing. We'll go through every component of the house. We're going to look at the windows, uh, the doors, the ceilings, the floors, just about every component in the house and make sure that it meets the standard qualities that we have in our models. Uh, the last meeting that we'll have will actually be a review meeting of the 400 item checklist. If we found anything on that list that's unsatisfactory, we'll review those items at our last meeting. We have one of the best warranties in the industry. We've got a, what's considered to be a 10-year warranty. It has three different components to it. Uh, the first component is a one-year workmanship. That would cover things such as a squeaky floor, a drywall pop. Then we have a two-year component of this warranty, which would cover all mechanicals. So that would be your heating, cooling, your plumbing, and your HVAC uh, and electrical. And that's covered for a full two years. Uh, for 10 years, you're going to be covered for structural. The nice thing about this warranty is this is insurance backed uh, by a triple rated uh, insurance company and it is transferable. So if a homeowner moved out of their house before that warranty expired, they can transfer that warranty to the new homeowner. We're one of the only builders in Kansas City that has an online program to where customers can log on to my website, they can see pictures of their house, they can see the schedule, they can see their actual contract, they can sign off on change orders, they can see the uh, blueprints online. We're finding that the, the more convenient we have, we can make this information to the homeowner, the less stressful the process is to them. And the more they enjoy the entire process, the more they can actually enjoy their house when they move in.